I'd like to thank Ms. Barber and Mr. Duncan for giving me this opportunity to be talk today. It is an honor. Welcome to this virtual celebration. While we sleep safe and sound and spend time with our families, they travel by the sea and air to sacrifice their time for ours. Words are not enough to think them. And now let's talk about the great brave men who once were in the military. My uncles, my amazing uncles. First, there was Robert Wayne Osborne, who risked his life to the Air Force branch. Next, Billy Glenn Osborne, who risked his life to the Army branch. And finally, the one I've heard so many stories on, Uncle Floyd Marvin Osborne, who led and gave his life to the Air Force branch. Uncle Floyd was also a certified police officer and died while on duty June 21st, 1998. It is an honor to have these amazing men in my lives and to end off with respect, honor, and gratitude. Thank you, veterans. Be a part of something that was bigger than me. Um, what is one of your favorite memories? So, I met my husband in the military when I was in Germany for training. So I got to travel and live all over the world. So 
Uh, my favorite memory was probably just traveling and spending that time with my family and getting to experience all of the things that we got to experience together. Uh, what is one thing? What is one thing you want for people to know about serving if they are in the same So I think people don't realize that there's so many different jobs. You could be a newscaster in the military. You could be a weather person in the military. So every civilian like um, job that you have, there's one of those in the military. And if you get your start in there, they pay for your college. Um, you get to experience things like traveling the world. You get to meet all different types of people that you probably never would have met. And I think it's just a really good experience for young people, especially if you don't know what you want to do. It gives you job skills. Um, it helps pay for college if that's what you choose to do. There's trades, all sorts of stuff that's just, um, it's a really good start in life if you don't know what you want to do. Even if you do want to know what you want to do, it's just a really good start. That's one of those little pet peeves that gets me as a veteran. It can have lots of people. You should celebrate it. What branch did you say? I was in the Navy and I loved it. Um, my whole family's been in the Navy. My sister's still in the Navy. God bless her. She's amazing. Um, my husband's Army and all of his siblings are Army, so we're a very big like, uh, military family. And my son's about to enlist in the Navy. So I'm super excited. What was your favorite memory? Boot camp. Hands down, boot camp. I loved it. While everybody else was scared, I found it fun. Like it was exciting for me. Um, I remember, not because I'm a bad person, but <laughs> I remember going into the gas chamber and they teach you before you go into the gas chamber to like um, not do anything you're not supposed to make you vomit. You pull your shirt out, you're supposed to vomit your shirt. It's not so really gross. Um, anyways, and uh, when we were in gas chamber like they're learning about it and tell you hey you've gotten away from wearing contacts this whole time like um don't wear them because they boost your and I'm like what I'm that person wearing contacts that's been getting away with it and so I took off my contacts and I put them in my pocket and um like in my contact case yeah anyways and so I remember going into the gas chamber and as they come by it's rows and rows of people and they all have gas masks on and they release the gas and it's not gas that'll hurt you but it's so that 
when or if we ever experience that, we are not afraid and we know how to handle it. And so they have the first room take off the gas mask and make you see your name making the vision. And as you're going down and up in the middle, this guy next to me is in his party. He's like six foot four. He was huge. And he couldn't even get out his name. He was bent over and choking. And I'm like, hurry up, man. It's my turn because I want to hurry up and get it done so I can leave. And I kept laughing. And yeah, I um, the officer that was in charge of the vision watched me laugh at him from that like one way there that we don't realize they're watching him laugh. And we make it go back in three times. So um, I didn't find it funny, but I actually enjoyed like every experience all the way down to the ones that felt like it was total punishment because I don't know, it was a different experience. I mean, I was honestly being prepared for something that was bigger than me, and I enjoyed it. Why is one bit of evidence you have for people Oh man, um, so advice I would give somebody is that would want to serve. Um, don't be scared. Um, go in eyes wide open, knowing that whatever you're going to face is going to help save lives. No matter how small the job is that you sign up going in for it, every single job has a major impact. And to be honest with you, people forget about the military often because you know they're living their day-to-day -day lives and they live in this little individual bubble and they forget all the sacrifices that other people are making so that they can live in that little individual bubble and get on Snapchat, Instagram and have those things. Because there's other countries where those aren't even allowed. Like you can't access social media, you can't see news from other countries, and they're gifted with that ability because somebody out there with courage is going to step up and do what needs to be done so that we have those rights. So for everybody joining, you know, uh, all part to you, you're amazing, and you're the person that's stepping out of your comfort zone. It's about yourself and about others. So uh, no one with their eyes wide open, don't be ashamed.
Thank you for watching this virtual celebration. Have a great day and remember, thank a veteran.